Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell and like this video. It helps me to keep making videos. I'd appreciate it majorly. Down the shore again, just taking a little, uh, having some fun time. And, uh, but I, I, I've been watching uh, the story about the two American teenagers in Italy that are being charged. I don't know if they've actually been officially charged. They're facing charges for aggravated murder and extortion. One's 18 years old, one's 19 years old. I'm gonna do my best to try to, um, to tell what's being reported so far. They've been in jail for two nights now. The incident started Friday, Friday in, in the early morning hours, around 2 a.m. And this followed, reportedly they went uh, to get drugs. You know, after I think probably out on, uh, after a night out partying, in the uh, late night Thursday, they bought something, they thought it was cocaine from some, some man, I guess on the street, but he sold them, uh, according, to the, according to reports, crushed up aspirin and, and, you know, as cocaine. So they went back to the dude and stole his, stole, you know, angry and stole the backpack of the individual who sold him that. And, and actually inside the backpack was the man's cell phone too. So at some point, the man, the man called his own cell phone, and they answered it, and they basically said, "We're not giving you this. We're not giving you the uh, the backpack, and cell phone back until you give us 100 euros and um, and a gram of cocaine." So that individual called the police actually, and two uh, plainclothes officers, basically undercover officers, went to meet the two Americans. One's one's name is um, Finnegan Elder. The other's name is Gabriel um, Natalie Hajorth. They're both from San Francisco. They're basically high school classmates. I don't think they went to the exact same high school, but they're from the same area north of uh, north of San Francisco. And I think it's a fairly fairly affluent, well uh, you know, well off area where they're from. And uh, so the two plainclothes officers go to meet them. You know, under the guise of getting back the, the backpack, I don't think they knew they were meeting police officers. And this is at like two in the morning, Friday, after, after a late night of Thursday, and um, an altercation ensued. And supposedly the two persons, but, but they identified themselves as officers, according to the reports that the authorities in Italy are giving. And uh, I, think, I think Gabriel supposedly, according to reports, started the altercation by punching one of the two officers and then at some point the other American teenager Finnegan um, uh, uh, Finnegan elder excuse me um, pulled out a knife and stabbed one of the two officers you know multiple times eight times at one point stabbing him directly in the heart that killed killed that officer who's you know has has been killed and obviously that's a terrible awful shame um, he was a 35 year old man I think his name is trying to remember everything Mario Rega Mario Churchiello Rega I believe is the officer's name so according to reports the um, the Italian authorities used surveillance footage and, 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 and they fled the scene after the altercation so one officer was stabbed to death left 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 to die um, and the other officer we don't know what happened to him that's that's some of my confusion so According to the Italian authorities, they use surveillance footage because this happened right near the hotel where the two, two Americans are staying. They're there on vacation, even though they're not there with their parents. And, um, you know, they fled the scene after the altercation, after the, after the fight, assault, and stabbing. But the, the Italian authorities used surveillance foot, footage and witness accounts to, to identify the two Americans as being responsible for it. And they've been arrested and remain in custody. And actually, under under Italian law, they can be they can be kept in custody for an entire year without even being charged. So, um, they are being they are facing charges of a, of a aggravated aggravated murder, I believe, and and extortion. And um, but it, there is a lot of quite. I mean, I, I there's a lot that doesn't make sense to me. One. Uh, being that why, why didn't the second officer immediately call in you know that the incident had taken place I mean right right as it was taking place they both even though they're plain closed officers and they both um, um, you know, normally they bring they have firearms with them but they didn't have firearms with them in this case 
So supposedly when they um, were able to identify the two American suspects as being responsible for this, involved in it, went to their hotel room, they found a weapon there, a knife hidden in basically like a drop down ceiling. I think there was blood on clothing found at the hotel room where they were staying, you know? And um, so they've spent two nights in jail. There's various reports from neighbors from, where, from the community where they grew up, you know, of being sort of wild kids, one of them being not, uh, you know, maybe have a, having a slightly uh, more, well, the, you know, people from the community saying he was a bad kid and like a, you know, kind of like a small time drug dealer and that when he was on drugs, he just had major anger. And that was actually the one, not the one who's being accused of stabbing him. Um, that would be, that's, that's the description of Gabriel, um, Gabriel Natalie Hajorth, who's the 18 year old. One was, and he, he was a lacrosse player in high school. The other guy, Finnegan Elder, uh, was the 19-year-old. He was a, a varsity football player. And from most accounts, even though there's one, one, one story of him like throwing up on the neighbor's lawn, other neighbors said that he was a really nice kid and they, never, they would never have expected him to be involved in something like this. But I mean, back to it just didn't make sense to me that, I um, mean, first off, how was it that two sort of young kids, 18 and 19 years old, were able to, able to overcome two adult male police officers, undercover police officers, you know, stab one of them to death. The other police officer seemingly doesn't necessarily immediately call the call for backup and isn't, isn't named as the person identifying the two suspects. I mean, that's not in the reports. Um, you know, so it just didn't, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. So... There's a picture of the one of the two, actually the one who's accused of doing the stabbing, Finnegan Elder, being blindfolded by the authorities that's been leaked to the press. And the interior minister in Italy, who's basically, I think, newly, newly appointed and a far right, um, you know, uh, you know, far right, uh, somebody of the far right, um, you know, didn't express a whole lot of, you know, because you know, people were shocked by that. And it's, I mean, he's pretty young, you know. Um, and he's sitting there blindfolded with his head down, but he's, he was like, if people shouldn't feel sorry for that boy, they should feel sorry for the officer that was killed and, you know, um, and his family, which naturally that's all, it's terrible. Um, so, you know, uh, they supposedly, they both confessed to being part of the assault and the one who they claimed did the stabbing confessed to the stabbing as well. Although his court appointed attorney is saying that uh, he basically confessed after, after, you know, after, from exhaustion by being worn down during interrogation. While he was in court, he, he, maintained, he maintained his right to remain silent when he was with, with, with counsel. So they've been in court at least one time. I don't know if they've officially been charged with aggra aggravated murder and extortion. Extortion's for the backpack thing. And, uh, but the story is, is blowing up majorly. The, the family of Finnegan Elder uh, put out a statement basically expressing their deep condolences for the officer that was killed. But so far, they've had zero contact with their son, and they don't know, they don't have any, any, any verifiable information that they, you know, they can go on. So they haven't spoken to their son since this happened, and it's been, you know, we're going on two days into it. And these two kids could be held for up to a year without even being charged. You know, and they're in a foreign country. They're being accused of basically murder. And the other family of the Gabriel, um, Natalia Jorth, I think reporters went to his home seeking comment from them, and, and they had the, the door slammed in their face. And the individual saying no when asked, you know, do you have anything to say? So, you know, um, that's the story there, man. I, I, I did my best to kind of put that all together. It's a pretty complicated story, but it's... Um, you know, I just can't get my, my, my mind around the idea of how is it that two, you know, basically kids, 18 and 19 years old, are able to overcome two plainclothes officers, stab one of them to death, who are, you know, one who's 35, I don't know who the other one, and, and the officers supposedly identify themselves, and then the other officer doesn't necessarily immediately call, you know, um, call for backup. Um, and that they're later identified by witnesses and surveillance footage, not the other officer. It's, um, I don't know, it's, it seems odd. But that's the story there, man. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. 
I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.